Sorry, I accidentally hit stop on OBS because I was... Well, I didn't accidentally hit stop. I hit stop on purpose because I thought I might have accidentally been somehow streaming to the TFS channel. And I was like, I don't want to do that. Okay, so it is back. So it is there. All right, cool. Uh, so apparently Passport 2 will only stream if it is full screen. So I can't... Uh, I can't have chat and look at stuff and have like my camera and stuff on because I wouldn't be able to see it. So hold on, let me log into Twitch real quick and change all the info because this isn't Dark Souls. We're not protecting swamps tonight. Um, hum, 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 hum. New apartment. Streaming pass. Yes, there we go. Done. All right. So, so you guys can hear me. Is is that what I am being led to believe? You you hear what I am saying? Sound off in the chat if 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 you can hear me. Also, I'm gonna full screen chat so I can see it better. Can hear. All right, good. That's what I like to see. Welcome, everybody, to my first stream from my new apartment. This isn't uh, exactly the format I was expecting. Uh, I was planning to have kind of a cool overlay in my face and stuff, but hey, I was bored tonight. I wanted to go ahead and do this, and uh, as I was like just scrolling through stuff I had in my laptop because I don't have something to capture from a console at the moment. Uh, I saw Pass Part 2, and I was like, I haven't played that in a while. That was fun. And then it had, like, this weird Halloween theme going. So I was like, all right, let's check out how that goes. All right, let's click the easel and begin. Yes, Karen and I both got new apartments. Uh, okay, so how this is going to go is I am going to ask you guys to tell me what to paint. And uh, what I'm gonna do is just glance over and pick two random suggestions from the chat and I will meld them together. So let's let's begin. What should I paint? All right, let's see, cat and Waffle House. All right, so we're going to combine the Waffle House and a cat. Let's see if I can figure out how to do that. Well, first, we'll have our ground here. It's a, always a good place to start. Uh, and it, being a Waffle House, it would not be in a rural area. I feel like that would be in a concrete place. So I'm gonna say the ground here is like of a cityscape, perhaps road, perhaps sidewalk. Um, it's been a while since I've seen a Waffle House, but I think it looks a little something like this. Perfect. Uh, oh, hey, I got a new hat! I didn't know this game had hats. What the F? I haven't played this game in months. Alright, we're gonna have that, and, um, I feel like Waffle Houses are usually brown. So... Get a little bit of that. Oh, geez. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna draw the door on top of the brown. Because that seems like the better way to do this. It's a big old brown building with, oh, hold on, advanced tech here, with glass doors. So, there's the glass. And then we give it a little outline. That's a little artist trick there for you. Little dividers down there. There's the handles. Now I believe Waffle House's like signboard is yellow. So we're gonna have that. And then Register to keep track of my cash flow. Hey, you know what? Passport 2, he's not in it for the money. He's in it for the art. So I'll, I'll let that cash flow do what it want right now. I'll, I'll get back to that. 
Now let's see pro moves if I can write. Wah. Oh. L. House. And uh, this is this is the new edgier Waffle House. They got like kind of like, you know, boom, a little bit more action-packed logo. And. There's the sign for it. No windows in this establishment. It's a, a creative choice by Dr. Waffle. Um, and I have to combine this with a cat. So, while Waffle House is doing its thing, there's this uh, little... Little kitty hanging out. Kind of looks a little bit more like a dog now that I look at it, but you know what? Whatever. We do what we can here. Oh, jeez. I've messed up these feet, but you know what? We do what we must. And the cat's got a little tail like cats do. And this is a very special cat. It's got stripes. Th those are the feet there. I don't know if you can see my mouse. I hope you can. That. Uh, and. But this is a special cat because he. Can talk. And he says, I. Hey. Mondays. And, um, all right. I think that is our Waffle House plus a cat. So let's go ahead and sell this and see what the, the art community thinks of Waffle Cat. Am I connected to Twitter? I can't remember. No. Okay, so, you know what? Forget it. Just put it there. Hold on, actually. I'll download this so I can save it later. <clears throat> Waffle Cat, thank you. All right. So that's my first artwork. Thank you to those who contributed the idea. I'll try to keep track of who sends ideas in the future. Um, but all right. I'm open to new suggestions, so go ahead and uh, let me know. Oh, what, do we, what do we got here? 105? Hmm. I think Waffle Cat's worth a little bit more than that. 112? I'll accept. Wah! Is that a horse ghost? What the hell? Alright. <clears throat> I'm seeing tacos and... Tacos, tacos, squid, 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 tacos. All right. Well, if we're doing squids, uh, hold on. Let me swing back up there on the. We got Carisu with the tacos and lime sage with the squid. Well, if we're doing squids, they would be underwater. So we're going to give this a bit of an aquatic feel. And all right. Now, the first thing you need to know about squids is they are always pink. It's just what they are. This is kind of what their body... Well, you know what? Let's uh, let's get rid of a little bit of that. Squids aren't really that fat. Kind of got... Oh, well, now, I've, now I've undone too much. Let's just start that squid over, all right? That's the beauty of paint, ladies and gentlemen. You can't make mistakes. Art does what it wants. So we got our squid body here. It's kind of a long squid. Nothing 
to look into here. I can't imagine. Uh, before we add more details, we have to... Squids always have like a little divot in the top of their head. Uh, and then it's like... It's got the little tendily bits. It's, hey, I'm a, I'm a squid guy. And... <clears throat> excuse me. And he's holding a taco! Because he is a squid who likes tacos. It's been a few years since I've had a taco instead of a burrito. I've discovered I'm a burrito guy. But I think they got lettuce in them. And then some kind of meat. And... There we go, and it's underwater, so we need to have some some bubbles. Now check out this action. This is something I'm kind of proud of. We got that, and then you do just a little bit of... Boom, now it's a bubble. It's like liquid coming up. Get more bubbles in there so people know it's underwater. And a couple down here. Oh, actually, you know what? He uh, squids are bottom dwellers. They live like near near the ocean floor. Let's give this squid a little bit of personality. Uh, now I know what you're thinking, Grant. Why'd you give him two big black eyes? Well. Those are actually the outlines of his eyes. You know what? Let's uh, let's make him our our little blue-eyed squid. Uh, there we go, pupils, and he is happy about having tacos. And there we go. That's uh, that's Taco Squid right there. So here we go. We'll put Taco Squid out on display. Nope. You should be typing. There we go. Taco Squid. Save it for, for posterity. And there. Behold, we have Taco Squid. All right. Ah, Benjamin hates pink. Well, sorry. That's the that's the color of squids, my man. Okay. Uh, need more suggestions from the chat. I will grab two random things I see in chat. I'll give it a couple seconds so people can start throwing their suggestions in. Uh, but I... I feel like we might be an okay artist. All right, uh, negative creep 96, I see peanut, and Jakato X with bicycle. So bicycle and peanut. Jack the ghost horse doesn't seem to be a fan of squid taco. All right, so peanut, bicycle. Hmm, this. Oh, skillful craft says Steve. What else you got, Steve? 202, I'll take it. Oh, I now, I'm now able to spray paint. That's good shit right there. Okay, so a peanut bicycle, or bicycle nut. Um, hmm. I haven't looked at a peanut quite a, quite a while, so my memory of what they look like might be rusty, but here we go. Get a little bit of texture on there. There you go. That's a that's a peanut. Here, you know what? I'm gonna gonna do you even one better. There's gonna be two peanuts in this picture. This one's gonna have a slightly more slender top part, like a peanut do. Now I know what you're thinking, Grant, it's Peanut Bicycle. 
Where's the bicycle? Well, that is where this comes in. Check it out. The peanuts are the wheels to this bicycle. And for flavor and for callback, I'm gonna have a little familiar friend riding this bike. Come at me, Bills. It's our cat friend from before. And he might hate Mondays, but... Loves bikes. And he's a daredevil, so he's going fast. Really zooming. And he's driving on old man Jenkins' lawn. He probably hates it. But you know what? He's a cat, and he loves bikes, and he's not afraid of letting anybody know about it. Peanut bike. Save the image for a future Twitter gallery. And there you have it. That's how, that's how art works. Yeah, he's a dangerous cat because he doesn't wear a helmet. That's how you know he's, he's the real deal. All right, now once again, open to suggestions. I will try to grab some some suggestions from the chat and figure out what we are going to paint next. Danger is that cat's name. Jack, don't be booing my artwork, it's great. All right. Co Kobe the Ig Ig Igwayan has lollipop. I like that. I'm down with that. Thank you, Haru, for uh, welcome to my stream. Glad you can join us. So Kobe's bringing the lollipop. What's someone else bringing? I'm gonna let the chat roll for a second before I. Whoop. Uh, sure. Take it. Yeah, I think this I think this dude just likes my stuff. All right. Jin Gash the Flory says a dolphin. So we got lollipop lollipop dolphin. All right. Okay. I think we're going to have a very uh kind of a similar piece to our squid taco. But it's going to have a little bit of a twist on it. So we're gonna start with the dolphin, but it's gonna be a very small dolphin. Is that a ghost Bob Ross? I hope he sticks around so we can comment on my next masterpiece. Uh, that's, uh, that might be more shark, so let's give it a bit of a snout. There, now it's a dolphin. Uh, in fact, it's got a blowhole, so you know it's a dolphin. But this dolphin is, in fact, the lollipop. And who is holding the lollipop, you ask? Why? That's where the surprise comes in. Is 
is in fact being held by a giant lollipop. And they usually have little swirlies. This lollipop also has legs. Because imagination. In fact, let's let's say he's got two lollipops. This one over here, this one's just regular ass sucker. And as per usual, they are underwater. As, as shown by the bubbles. And boom, another masterpiece. Lolly Dolphin Pop. Are there two L's in. Are there three L's in Lollipop? It's funny, in decorating a new apartment, I've been wanting some interesting wall art. Maybe I should just print out my own creations. All right, let's. Uh, I'll have a look see in the in the old chatteroo for some more suggestions. Slash twenty five eighty eight wants a sword. I can dig it. As does Jin. Taco Jet wants a helicopter, so helicopter sword. Well, this... Ooh, helicopters are a very advanced piece of machinery. It'll be quite difficult to draw. So let's go with... Um, what color are helicopters normally? Probably blue? So we're gonna have... Oh, 99. Robert. That is Bob Ross's ghost. It's Robert. Mm, I think you got more, Bobby. We're gonna try one more. There we go. Woo! I got the Bob Ross hair piece. Alright, so blue helicopter. I have like the little tail part. Um, it being a helicopter, it would have the spinny blades up top. Uh, they would be attached to a blue part, so we're going to have a blue part going up there. This will be the color of spinning propellers. There you go. So it's like, I'll put some... There, so you know, so you kind of you know it's spinning. That's those are those are motion lines. If you take an art class, you'll you'll understand what they are. And there's a there's a hidden uh, Easter egg. That motion line kind of looks like a G. It's sort of like my signature is hidden in the art. And we got the there's you know, where the pilot would see. But helicopters also have like little feet, but this helicopter is unique because its feet is a sword. There you go, and Check it out and get that hilt fixed back up. Get the little, uh, like a little blood crease or whatever it is. And they are 
heading into the jungle. Because this is actually a piece of anti-war propaganda from the 70s. In fact, if uh, the official soundtrack to this art piece is, uh, you know the one, Fortunate Son, is that the one that plays in like every war movie ever? Um, it ain't me, it ain't me, I'm a helicopter with a sword. Boom. get it because it's a sword and swords chop things oh no I forgot to download hold on there we go did I download the ah shoot I might not have downloaded the lollipop no one oh. made painting mate but you didn't make art well th thanks synth you're uh Take your advice into consideration. So let's uh, get back to suggestions from the chat. Thank you, fortunate son by Cle uh, by Creedence Clearwater Revival. Thank you, his house. Jack does not like anything I'm making. Uh, with the with the Twitter thing, I'd have to input my password and stuff. I I assume to get it all synced up. So I'm gonna hold off on that. I'll tweet these out after the stream. Hey, what do you want, Benjamin? Back for some more? Ooh, 68. Let, can we at least get that up to an even 69? I'll take 80. All right. Looking for more suggestions? Seeing some more advanced artwork that would be... Uh, I think that's out of my current pay grade. Maybe as the night goes on, I'll get a more, a little bit more courageous. All right, I got light bulb. Light bulb from, hold on, who suggested light bulb? Because I like that. Big Dat Faz will we'll have a light bulb. And a horse from Blaze89. So a light bulb horse. Maybe maybe Jack will like this one being clearly part horse himself. Well, if you're going to draw a horse, the first thing you need is a sky drop. Mm-hmm. Then some meadow. Give it a little bit of depth. Uh, maybe some some clouds dot in the sky. And the sun peeking out. But it's not a it's not a cloudless day. There there there's some clouds covering the, the sun. And our horse. Never noticed, but I like the music in this game. There's kind of like the light bulby part of the the grooves in it for when you screw it in. Oops, it's not a very good light bulb. And there's a, a part that would plug in, you know, the, the wires that light up. And there are its legs, because it's a galloping light bulb. We'll have some depth. You see that one's coming out from behind the glass. Oops. And 
it's like I said a horse so there's kind of like the horsey part style it's a it's an excited horse so it's kind of got the the veins in its eyes and it's it's excited it's it's yelling It's a talking horse. And this horse is saying some fun stuff. Just having a good old time being a horse. Call him Bulb Jack Horse Light. Because we're good at puns. Tronop 04, I see you with the no tail. Um, it's a art artistic liberty I took. 507, it's not a bad price, but let's see if we can haggle. One more time. I'll take it. 669. Nice even number. Freed Beast, written in Leet Speak. Love you, Grant, but I'm returning to my work. You do that, sir. I'm sorry I distracted you. All right, chat. As per the usual, I am at, at your whims. Throw, throw me some... Throw me some suggestions for my next mwah masterpiece. All right, we got pumpkin. I, I like it. Pumpkin from tech, tech, tech something. Tachyon railgun. Pumpkin and pumpkin and dragon. From Jin. Actually, Jin, I took one of your suggestions. I like it, but but you gotta give someone else a turn. Roly poly broly with a fancy hat. So a pumpkin with a fancy hat, I accept. Um alright, let's we'll start with the outline of the pumpkin. Like so. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Some MS paint tricks there. Oh wait, it's gonna be a pumpkin with a fancy hat. I don't know why I drew a stem. Um, all right, so fancy hat. What would I consider a fancy hat? I don't know if I could do the depth of a fedora with these tools. I feel like I would need more. What's this? I don't know what this tool is. All right, we're gonna take some creative liberties and see what this tool does. Oh, 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 all right. We've opened up a new world of the art world, ladies and gentlemen. We have just changed the game. You have witnessed history in the making. Uh, 
Because you thought this was the pumpkin, but it is in fact... A very fancy hat. Shaped like a pumpkin. Being worn by, you guessed it, a significantly smaller pumpkin. I can't believe we got to go on this journey of discovery together. Actually, you know what? I want this to be a slightly different shaped pumpkin. Oops, I meant to make it this. Boom. And this pumpkin, he is psyched as he should be, because look at that cool hat. See this uh this is kinda like he's he's also part um Mr. Dink from Doug. You got those teeth sticking out from the sides of his big old mouth. And he knows his hat is cool because it says it's cool. Oh wait, it's supposed to be fancy, so you know what? It's a cool fancy. Pump can hat. And he got it in like the eighties, so there's like lasers. And boom. We got the pumpkin hat pumpkin. Save that image for later. Whew. Didn't know how we were going to make it out of that one, kids, once I started it. But uh, I feel like we we found our way through it. What you got? Made a painting, mate, but you didn't make art. Synth, I feel like all you've got are problems and no solutions. And you know what? As an artist, I don't deal in those. All right. Looking for more suggestions. gonna give chat a second to start throwing them out and see what we got mr. John Carlton suggests a t-rex that is my favorite dinosaur so sure we will have a t-rex but what will the t-rex be intermingling with Jack, you have nothing good to say ever. I'm glad you're dead. All right. Ro Roji Shoe 666, a butter churn. So T-Rex butter churn, you got it, my friends. We will. We'll figure this out. All right, so T-Rexes, as we all know, are green. The best color. Uh, T-Rexes, uh, I'm gonna say it's like. All right, Maggie, you know what? I'll, I'll accept that criticism because you at least have something to say. It lacks energy, fine. You're wrong, but I, I get it. It's a big old T-Rex. It's big T-Rex body. It's big T-Rex legs. It's got those T-Rex toes. And his little T-Rex arms. Don't worry, we'll add an outline. Let's go ahead and do that. Because that's always good to do after the fact. Oh! Benjamin at it again. Benjamin Button here, my, my biggest supporter. Let's haggle you up, buddy, because I need that money to pay rent. What the fuck, Ben? There we go. All right, I'll take it. I'm going to not yell what the fuck 
anymore because it is almost 11 and the papers I signed for my rent were all about, hey, don't make noise after 10. So I'm going to try and calm it down a little bit. This is a bit of a, I saw Jacato suggesting abstract. I mean, it's not really abstract because it's definitely got a subject, but, uh, you know, it's a little abstract in that the outline and colors aren't always exactly on board with one another. It's a T-Rex, so he's scary, so he's got red eyes. But, it's also sad. Because, uh, well, hold on, we'll give him a mouth too. Big sad T-Rex, because he got those little arms. And butter churns all the way down here. We can't churn butter from two stories up. You know what? He's he's real sad. He's got tears. And the sun is in the sky. And it Disapproves. And there you go. A, a butter churning T Rex. Good night, Elfington. I probably should get some sleep too, but you go ahead and beat me to it. No churning. For Rex. No one knows why Rex wants to churn. They only know that he can't. Synth, this is probably my most passionate piece yet. I don't know how I'm supposed to impress you. Well, Steve into it. Steve's got the buco bucks. 520, I'll take it. Shit, I don't think I saved no turn in for Rex. I really like that one. All right, guys, I need some more inspiration, another muse. Good night, his house. Get up for work in six hours. Zero Hazio says sheep. All right. So what will we have? And Ashley Umbreon says axes. So axes and sheep. All right. Well, this sheep, these, uh, sorry, the plural for sheep is Shep. I forgot. Um, this will be nighttime sheep. So this is our, our sky. I love watching Passport 2 paint in the background there. It's one of my favorite parts of the game. And this sheep lives in the desert. It's one of the sheep that uh, Moses tended to. All right, what would be a creative way to... I think this would, I, th I think this will work. Let me see. Again, we're all learning art here together, kids. It's gonna look like the outline of the wall. Boom. Sometimes I impress myself. Legs. It's got its little sheepy tail. Actually, do it the same way we did its body. Like that. And. Ooh. 
the sheep has been a busy sheep because he is actually trying to get rid of the evidence of how he murdered his master with an axe. here in the hill uh, in the distance it's his dead shepherd angry sheep and he's getting sand on it because he's trying to bury it and it was a spooky stormy night E A T or E E T? I can't remember. Ah, forget it. Boom! Sheep murder. Jack. One of these days. I agree, Tron. Up. If this one doesn't have. Energy, I'll be mad as well. Sonosuke's feeling turkey. All right, I'll do that. Benjamin, my biggest fan. No less than 200, so there you go. All right, we'll do turkey. Something involving a ghost to see if Jack likes it from Haru. All right, so we'll have a ghost turkey. Here, it'll be, it'll be Ghost Thanksgiving. Uh, so, it's Thanksgiving. Obviously, the first thing we need is a table. Because you can't have... Well, you can't have a table without floor, if we're being real. So, let's go ahead and put a floor... It's a real nice flat floor. Um, they have a table... It's gonna be a bigger table than I was initially expecting. A table. And on that table is a nice yellow plate. And on that nice yellow plate is a turkey. It's kinda like, kinda got this for the body. And then it's got the little, little the leg bone sticking out, and another leg bone sticking out on the other side. And you know it's a turkey because it's got those big old legs and the little wings. Oh, hold on. Little wings, and it it smells absolutely delicious. And hovering just over its, oops, um, that's right, uh, 
hovering just beside it is a spooky ghost. But he's happy because he's got a fork and a knife. He is into it. He is like... Yum. Honor of Thanksgiving, pilgrims murdered natives. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. There we go. Let's see. It's got murder. It's got ghosts. Je oh, well, not if George is going to beat him to it, I guess. 450. I think he can go higher, old man. 474. You're holding out on me, Grandpa. What you got? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, one more. Okay. All right. So we have our Thanksgiving spirit. We've uh, tried to entertain the ghost, but he had little... All right, you know what? Here, we're just going to... Here's what we're going to do. Real quick, just to see if we can get the ghost on our side. See, it? it's like you, you had to get the dust off this old spooky painting. Ooh. Oh, everyone's saying I should have put a top hat on it. I'm sorry. It's just called Ghost. Oh, the critic seems not impressed. If I'd known you were coming by, Mr. Critic, I wouldn't have made such a simple... Oh, no. Oh, progress to the next act. Uh -huh. First, let me get this. Haggle you up. Oh, no, 46. Fine, I guess it's better than nothing. Yes, I would like to progress to the next act. What do I have to do? Do I have to paint another painting? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna give the critic something else to look at. Let's. Uh, all right, real quick, throw me throw me a uh, throw me suggestions. What what should I give the critic? What what does he want? Yeah, I know the ghost man never saw the ghost. It really sucks. All right, tacky on railgun says pizza. Blade Master says Christmas. All right, a Christmas pizza. You got, you got it. All right. Well, if it's pizza, the first part is that lightly buttered crust. And it's Christmas, so it's got pepperonis. A classic Christmas tradition. But it also has mistletoe. That's what mistletoe looks like, right? Of course it is. I'm glad you all agree. I can't see chat right now, but 
going to assume that yes, this is what mistletoe is. So it's pizza you you kiss while you eat it. And it um it wears a Santa hat. Because it's Christmas, and that's what you do. Alright, um... Alright, so we've got... We got Santa hat, we got mistletoe, we got pepperonis. Is there any other Christmas pizza thing? I'm, I'm forget. Ooh, beard. Good suggestion, Roly Poly Broly. Also has a dope ass Santa beard. Very festive. Um, and we'll put a Christmas tree back here. Trust me, it's a Christmas tree. You can tell by the star on top. Um, and the background is it's snowing. <gasps> we got Pizza's Christ. And what do we got? It was only recently that I heard of Passepartout, a quirky young artist with a passion for mind and soul. As I walked down the crime-stricken alley, I embraced the air of possibility before being entranced by the piece on the table. From a distance, I was struck with the craftsmanship. As I approached the piece, my jaw dropped, and as I came closer, it ushered in a sense of peace. Upon closer inspection, the intriguing detail of gray contrasted by the profusion of ebony reminded me of my home. The use of gray tones depict, of, depict the dullness of life, but with the variety of uh, it offers. All in all, Ghost had a good, it's a good effort. Passport 2 has a lot of potential, and I can certainly recommend my readers to visit Passport 2 in the future. Sign the critic. Well, hot dang! <laughs> Next act, I now have a studio apartment. And I've unlocked a new tool. This is always the step of this game that I kind of end up getting bored and stopping. I'll do like one or two pieces in the apartment kind of place, and then it's usually where I end. I think this is a really cool tool, though, because I think it's the one that lets me... Yeah, it like tries to make a straight line based on what I do. This will be a little abstract piece. Sorry, no suggestion from the chat on this one. This one's just all me. I'm gonna see where this line goes. Just let me art it out. For a second there, it kind of looked like a uh, like the treble G, and then I just kind of kept moving. Bigger as it went, bigger as if it got closer to you, and here we go. There we go. Oh wow, already. George, back at it again, my friend. Oh, I'm not gonna take anything under three digits. Nothing under three digits. Wee wee. Is that less than you started with? Hmm. No dice, George. I got a new. I got a new place. New clientele. You're gonna have to knock me out of the park. Tronop says alien fauna. So, just an alien? Hold on, I think this is backwards. 
Stormcrow. Or maybe it's just a, an anagrams or something. Or maybe it's just gibberish. Either way, I couldn't understand that. Alright, alien fauna. So I'm just going to draw an alien. Well, I'll draw my favorite alien from fiction. Let's see what people think of the Andalite. It's kind of got like a horse body. It's blue. Um, it's legs. Kind of do. Oh, I, eh, oh, too late now. Should have made its legs thinner. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he said fauna, right? They have the cool tail. And they're like centaur mans. So he's like, oh, I've also got hands. And they're stuck. George, better go up. Mm. Okay. And they're stock eyes. I remember them always being very distinct. They had green eyes. They had their little breathing vaginas. And they had this. The, the, they always compared it to a scorpion, but I've never seen a scorpion with a tail quite like that. They got their hooves, which they use to eat. And this is a cool Andalite, so he's got a six pack. And hella pecs. And he's eating right now, so we'll have him on the grass grazing. Mm. Actually, you're right. What does the planet look like that he's on? I think they said that their grass is like kind of like a pink. So we'll have him on that. And they're uh, some creative liberties. They've got orange clouds in the sky. That's how you know it's grass. You're not fooling anyone, ghost. I can see right through those sunglasses. Um, Jake was a war criminal. All right, what do we got? More, more suggestions from the Twitch gallery. Also, sorry for the Animorphs spoilers in there. Thank you, George. I'll take that as a compliment. No oh, man, people are already... Okay. Haru the Foxy Hero wants something with coffee, please. And a frog from Taco Champ, and I think I saw that a couple other times from places. So, all right, we're gonna we're gonna do coffee. So that means I want to make a coffee mug first. So okay, so here here's the thing. This is gonna be a big coffee mug. This is gonna be like a really zoomed in shot. Actually, hold on. Before we do the mug. Mm. Mm. We're gonna give it a black background. 
Whatever, Shade. I tried my best. Okay, so we've got uh, the coffee mug. It's a very, uh, like the, the imaginary camera for this art is very close to the mug. So you can see the, the coffee inside. Mary! Look, look, if you guys aren't gonna buy, get out. This isn't a charity. No, no loitering, please. And there is a frog trapped inside of the coffee. feeling Jake was a war criminal. Oh, except for Don over here. He knows what art is. Take it. Blah, blah, indeed, sir. This frog is... Hot. It's really hot in that coffee. In fact, so hot it's burning him. He has horrible burns. And he's like, ah! long tongue is like bleh, but it's getting in the coffee too and it also burns that's like steam and hotness coming off of him and he's crying because it because it burns so much He's also he's also sweating because it's real hot. Those are those are those are his pores going crazy. Um, and we got we got we got to give some depth to the coffee. So hold on, we'll use our new tool with this. Oh, that's the wrong brown. There we go. This is what you wanted when you wanted coffee? Something dying in it? And uh, it's, it's not all totally calm. Some of the coffee's like spilling out. He's splashing because he's, you know, dying. And there's like his little froggy arm. And we're gonna call it. Hmm. Let's see. What's a what's a fun coffee frog pun? What what do you got, chat? Oh, save it. Good idea. Go ahead and do that now. Torment. All right. 
Kermit's death rattle, not bad. Coffee, by the way. Hoppin' hot, I like it, Slash, I'll take it. Masterful. Ooh, Cup of Kermit was also really good. Whatever, Elizabeth. You're... Gross. Thank you, Jakato, with your real in-depth analysis. It's a representative of how we, as society, are the frog, and life's problems is the coffee. Don, you beautiful genius, you. You know what art is, don't you? Can I get him to 900? Can I get him to 900? Yes! A thousand! Sure. A uh, thousand sounds good. All right. What else we got, ladies and germs? Uh, what what other art do you want to see from me, the artist pass partier? I don't know how I change my hat. Avin Holzer, one of every color, all right. And I know I've taken one from Ashley Umbreon. I know I've taken one from Tronup. And Lurker says tree. I don't think I took one from you, so. All right, so one of every color and tree. So all right, we're gonna do a piece that might actually look like art by the end of it, in that I am just going to make trees of every color. And we're gonna see how that turns out. Kind of like, actually, I have to have a black background. That'll make it really stand out. We'll have kind of like a hill. This is very stream of consciousness, by the way. I. You guys have been watching for like an hour, so I'm assuming you realize that by now, but I kind of use this game, like, I haven't played it in a long time, but it was sort of my go-to, just like, eh, I don't want to think. I'm just going to do whatever pops into my head and run with it. All right, so we need to do one of every color. I'm going to take out, uh, I'm going to subtract the shades here, like these three, because uh, I feel like they won't be as interesting. And I'm going to be using this brown for, uh, like the, whatchamacallits, the trunks. So they will also not be a color. Let's go ahead and have, um, how did I do this before? Because I know I had a cool way of making trees before. I think what I would do is do that and then have these kind of go up and into it. Yeah, I did this backwards. I'm stupid. Um, so kind of like that. These are going to need to be small trees if I'm going to use every color. Holy crap. Maybe I should be using different colors for each trunk as well and getting two colors per tree. I like the sound of that. It's okay, this will be the last brown trunk then. Or at least that brown. And then there was another tree over here that kind of looked like a one of these kind of trees. Sort of a this thing going on. And off in the distance, you could see the pink branches and the orange blossoms. Oh, geez, that just looks <laughs> like nonsense. Uh, 
we had this itty bitty green tree that had the most beautiful, I don't know, kind of like a royal, not quite royal blue teal, maybe? Sort of a aqua-esque foliage. And then there was the upside down blue tree. With its purple petals. Good night, Taco Champ. Thanks for hanging out. And f from the brain of the orange petals came. The fuchsia leaves. All right, I'm missing the yellows. That's a tree that you're seeing from. That's that's the sun. It's just behind the trees. Um. All right. I think I'm missing this green. And the midnight blue. Oh, I used that for a branch earlier. All right. And there we go. That's uh, that's ev every every color, I think. I'm pretty sure. Did I use? I don't remember if I used this anywhere. So there it is. Oh wait, yeah, it was up there. And there's that purple. Did I use this? No, nope, it wasn't that. So there it is. It's got that color fruit on it. Ooh, I like it, San Leonhart, the Arbor Rangers. I'll take it. Good title. I said I wasn't using black, white, or gray. Save it. Shade. It's just throwing shade. You get it? All right, what what uh, what other suggestions you guys have? Open open to uh, interpret your chat messages into art. Ooh, Giorgio, twelve hundred. Don't never take the first one. What else you got? I'll take it. <laughs> All right, hold on. I, I know I've been saying I'm going to combine comments, but Captain Cheesebag asks me to draw the next protagonist of a Tales game. So, uh, let's go with that. All right. Um, I think this is the closest I have to anime flesh character color so well first um, first we'll do that thing that they always do with PNGs of characters and we'll put it on this gross gray background that's easy to Photoshop out um, all right so let's see a tails character um, <laughs> we've had velvet recently had a red outfit before that was Saray with kind of like a blue and white. Before that was Luger who wore blue. Jude had kind of like a dark, like kind of like a blackish blue and Mila had sort of a white thing. So we haven't had a Tails character with, I feel like green as their primary color for a while. So let's run with that. Um, Alright, so I am seeing kind of like a green body. Like like 
clothes. You know what? It might be he wears a green jacket with a brown undershirt. So it's got that. So it kind of has kind of like that look going for it. And he's he's a smug guy. So, uh... So he always has like his arms kind of on his hips. Trying to make that look <laughs> natural. Oh boy. For a hot second there, I was like actually trying to seriously design something that I remembered I'm playing Passport 2. And <laughs> my ability to paint with a mouse is abysmal. All right, so he's got like his anime flesh head. Um, his head would be thinner than that, so let's shave a little off there. And, all right. Um, you're saying she's gonna have big boobs. I'm not feeling another female pro tag on this one. This is this is gonna be a dude. Next next tales game is a green clothed man, or well boy. Uh, and he's got a green outfit and does he have brown hair? Or is he gonna be? No, he's gonna be a blondie. We haven't, a, we haven't had a blonde kid in a little bit. So he's gonna like have kind of like blonde hair, and it's gonna be real tall in the front, and then like it's kind of like a like a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a dumb name for a hairstyle. Kuwabara's got it. Uh, Josuke's got it. Pompadour, thank you. Yes. Um, all right, how to make anime eyes with this. Actually, you know what? No, the new Tails Protag wears sunglasses. He's, he's a more modern Protag. He's got the sharp anime nose. And he is like, he's a fun guy, so he's gonna be smiling a lot. He's gonna have his, his big flowing orange jacket. And black pants. I'll put his jacket back over it soon. And his weapon of choice will be... Uh, they've had a lot of characters with spears recently who weren't the main character and they were just kind of a side character, but I feel like they keep making them because they want to make a main character with a spear. So this dude will have a spear. And because it's a Tails game, he will also have... Uh, this is why he wears sunglasses. He has a scar over one of his eyes. And, I mean, this doesn't really show up well in painting, but he also has amnesia, and that's what, that's what this represents. That's the fogginess of his memory. And, like, um, 30 belts. Give me, like, one there, one there. I told you that was an undershirt. It's actually just a big belt he wears. Um, he'll have him like on his leg, uh, two on the other leg, and there's like rivets down his belt. He's a JRPG character. And um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's uh. Well, here, we're going to do what I like when uh, DBZ does it, where we're going to, like, kind of detail his hair a bit. Even though it's a pompadour, it's a, it's a spiky pomp. And uh, there you go. That's the 2019 Tales game protagonist. Um, what are we gonna call him? What is this guy?
tales of Leatherzia. Le 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 Leather Leatheriza. All right, that's the name of the game, Leatheriza. All right, uh, what's his name though? Nah, not Joey Maru. I like Johnny Bravo, but no. Sure, yeah, you know what? Grant is the hero of Tales of Leatheriza. All right, and we will call it Give Me a Job Namco Bandai. Yeah, well, Don, maybe it's a little outside of your your intelligence range, buddy. Now, George, you're a man who you're a man of refined taste. I'll take that 13 hundo. All right. What what else we got? I think I'm going to do what time is it? I'll do two more paintings. Eh, I'm seeing some Sonic suggestions. I don't know. I feel like I feel like every hack artist draws their Sonic OC. Passport Two is above that. He's a he's a little bit too artistic for that. A bonfire from Dark Souls. And Abraham Lincoln. All right. Uh, birthday biscuit and wucket wucket bucket. We're we're gonna combine yours, and I'm going to have Abraham Lincoln sitting at a bonfire from Dark Souls. Um. Now, which bonfire will it be? I'm gonna say that this is down in Blight Town. So we got a lot of brown. Kind of like that icky brown mauve it's kind of a reddish brown and actually I'm gonna make this a bit more artistic in that surrounded by darkness so you're just seeing the light that the bonfire gives off And All right, so there's like the so there's like the fire, and it gives off light. Right beside it is a tall, armor-cladded figure. With his blue kite shield at the ready. And his, uh, he's got that one red dragon sword from cheesing the tail off the one, like, wyvern thing. This is Dark Souls 1, by the way. This is in Blight Town. If you played hard games, you'd know that. Um, alright, and he's got... It's Abraham Lincoln, who I haven't looked at in a long time so he's got he's got like he's known for his beard right he's got he's got the beard and the top hat that's like his his deal so there's that um see a little bit of his hair over here Kind of got a stern look about him because he's, you know, trapped in Dark Souls land. Mm. And his signature top hat is now 
armor clad. He's wearing the... The profane steel top hat from the Capper Demon. And also there are skeletons, cause it's Dark Souls. Or skulls rather, they won't have whole bodies, just skulls above. There you go, that's Abraham Lincoln and Skulls in, in Dark Souls. Add some more wood to that fire. You know what? It's light, so it's casting a shadow. So. You know, helps him fade into the background. It's a real art, artsy piece. Skull also casts a shadow. Since it's up there, shadow kind of goes up that way. It kind of looks like a hat, but it's shadow, trust me. Um, four score and dark souls seven. Boom. Oh yeah, Lincoln Souls would have been way more concise. All right guys, last art request. Stormcrow, I, I don't know what your suggestion is, but I'm sure it's lovely. Yes, Royal Conquest, it is a grant stream. Unfortunately, you've come near the end. gonna do a gonna do a landscape piece on this Giorgio you beautiful son of a bitch haggle with me sure blah blah indeed all right Ashley Umbreon you've been asking for a sandwich this whole time a sandwich you will get and it will be the kind of sandwich I ate today peanut butter and jelly cuz I am 10 All right, so a sandwich. This is kind of like a bread. You know, a bread has like the kind of like the thicker top. And we got crust because I'm ten, not six. You go now it's kind of like there's like the crust um, and it's wheat bread so it's kind of got the little bit more dark in it um, all right so peanut butter would have been one of these two color or like probably would have been the color I used for crust so this peanut butter uh, for this artist rendering is orange You can kind of see it kind of smattering out the sides there because I'm not very good at buttering my bread so I tend to use a little bit too much and I am a fan of grape jelly and this is the darkest purple we've got so it's gonna kind of be like that you kind of see like some of it like dripping out like oozing because mmm jelly's not good unless it's kind of falling out of the sandwich but, oh no! Ants! Coming to get my sandwich! These dirty ants want to eat my PB&J! 
So, in order to stop the ants, I set them on fire. Because that's how you get rid of ants. So the ants are on fire. And that creates smoke. You see. And I happen to be eating this PB&J in a public place. Um, I'm eating it. I'm eating the place I always eat peanut butter and jelly in, I am eating it at a public library and the the smoke detectors catch the smoke from the burning ants and now the sprinkler system is going. Oh no! This picture tells a story by the way, I probably should have opened with that. Um, and the sprinkler system goes and it covers the whole sandwich. Oh no. What's a boy to do? Because here's me over here. This, this is just my face. You see my face and my hot brown hair. And my beautiful blue eyes. And my devilishly handsome smile. And my perfect nose. But... My handsome smile, I turn that smile upside upside down, because oh no, my sandwich. I wanted that sandwich, it was so good. But the ant, I had to kill it and burn it, and that ruined the sandwich. So, what, what do you do when you ruin your sandwich? You burn the library to the ground. You destroy everything in the all-consuming fire of death that is your existence and then you realize that nothing matters because the fire will purify everything and leave all but a burned husk of that which existed once long ago and you realize that you yourself were caught in the fire and now all you see is black and darkness but wait you're still in that library, and the sprinklers have gone again, flooding the earth in a post-apocalyptic water end times ocean hellscape. And now, everyone you know and love are goldfish. With dumb eyes and fins. And t t tails. There's that's a it's a goldfish. You can tell by the bubbles. For now, your existence is underwater. But thank God, the fire purified everything and left the world's purest PB and J you ever did see. As you can see, the peanut butter drips from the bread, as does the delicious grape jelly. Like I said, we're somewhat healthy in this household, so it's whole wheat. And then also, uh, Spider-Man's there, because I, cause I like Spider-Man. So he goes sw swinging by there's his web there's there's the spider-man eyes and he says grant in all caps he, sa he says grant there's a T in there. The T kind of gets cut off by the frame. This picture, this art was bigger than the than the uh, the the easel. Uh, he says, "Grant, I love you." You, the letter U, are letter R, my best. Friend.
And that's the most delicious part of this sandwich is your hero, Spider-Man, as seen here, coming in and saying that he loves you and that you are his best friend. And that just goes to show you, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, if you believe hard enough, you can now, um, you know, you, you can make your dreams come true. You can have that peanut butter and jelly sandwich in this underwater, uh, again, bubbles un un under underwater, uh, and have your hero come get you. And this is um, my first stream from this apartment. Save that. What do you think of that, uh, Storm Stormcrow? Yeah, do Dotoric, I have him gith. Swasen Bosnak Ach in Vesava. I agree. And uh and there there you uh, there there you go. That is tonight's stream, everybody. I'm glad you could be here. I'm glad you made it. Let's see if we can sell this artwork. Uh shout outs to everyone who made it. I know it's a little bit late and I think Lanny was also streaming at the time. No one understands something this complex. Don, you had to be there. Clearly, he is not subscribed via Twitch. Um, I'll try to stream more now that I have my own apartment. I can sort of just do what I want. I don't feel like I'm stepping on people's toes and have to worry about upload rates and that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, I get bored a lot more often because I live by myself now. So, you know, free time. Uh, and so, hey, th thanks for coming by. Uh, I'll try to figure out other stuff to stream because hey Mary you have good taste but I'm gonna haggle you I'm gonna haggle you one more time no matter what no matter what she gives all right audience uh you you've got clearly a very limited time up or down what do you think she's gonna do when I haggle again we're gonna see we're gonna see it's gonna go it's gonna all right and I think she's gonna go up oh no well I said I'd take it Thank you very much, Mary, for killing me on that last haggle. Well, this has been Pass Per T. Uh, I had a fun time. I think I got like two hats out of the deal, and I think this Halloween like event is going to be ending tonight or tomorrow or whatever. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna try and figure out other stuff to stream. Um, apparently, with all the updates that Civ has had, my old Australia file that I was running has become incompatible. So if I was to start doing Civ stuff again, I'd have to start over and I don't know if I feel like doing that. I do I do like that game a lot though. And it is really easy to stream, uh, significantly easier than other stuff because right now I don't really have a good way to do console stuff because I would also like to do that. Um, but who knows? We'll see what the future holds. Throw, throw me suggestions. Sonosuke, I'd like to do tail stuff, but I actually want to end up doing that on the TFS gaming channel, and I wouldn't want to do it on my own and then start doing it again, because um, that's not. I, I I wouldn't want to do it twice. Um, I could start a new Australia file because there are like five new civs that have joined the cast since I did that. But who knows? Um, like Civilization is a is an easy one because it just works with my laptop and can be streamed right away. But anyway, um, thanks for coming. This has been fun. Had a good time. Uh, I'll try to stream more so I can eventually get that affiliate status so you guys can start sending me bits. Um, because, hey, guess what? Uh, having your own apartment is a bit more expensive than having a roommate, turns out. So I'm going to be looking for help where I can get it. Uh, Reggie33, never played Dragon's Dogma. Would you recommend? Yes, highly. I thought it was very fun. But alright, uh, good night everybody. Go get some sleep. It's kind of late. You should all be in bed by now. What are you even doing here? Thanks for coming. It has been fun.